Today on Northwest Wild and Free, we're going to show you how to make maple syrup with the big leaf maples in the Pacific Northwest. So this is how we do it. So some of the tools you're going to need is a cordless drill and some kind of a spigot of some kind to collect the sap to make it go into your container. And then a container. We're using a jar, a jug will work, a bag, whatever. So we're going to start drilling into the tree. So we're going to just drill kind of at an upward angle into the tree and go in about three to four inches go in fairly deep make sure you get all that chips out of there okay and you're gonna you can already see it starting to flow there and you're gonna take and take your, your tap just kind of put it in there and then put in your container so you can collect it there you go it's already starting to flow that's how you do it so yep just drill in about three to four inches into the tree at kind of an angle so it comes down into your tap and put your tap in there and you got your container and you can already see where we've got some flowing i'm probably going to put in a bunch more taps to see if we can get a good batch of sap going let's put in some more Okay, we're gonna put two taps in this tree. I usually put two to three taps in each tree if it's a pretty sizable maple like this one. Yeah, it's coming, flowing good. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's do some more. So we got all our taps out. We got three in this tree, three in that tree, and two in this tree. And they're flowing really good at the moment. And the most important thing to get the sap to flow is the temperature. You gotta have the right temperatures. This morning it was 27 degrees and now it's like 40, 48 degrees. You don't want it to get much hotter than that, but that 45 degree mark, that's when it's flowing, if it's froze at night. That's what we're looking for and we'll be back to show you how much we collect in a we'll be back. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours now since we put in the taps. I'm gonna show you how much sap we've collected. Got quite a bit quite a bit in this one this one's just about full it's right there this one's got quite a bit that one there eh, it's not doing as good but still it's got a good amount now we're gonna go ahead and collect all the maple sap and I got a big stock pot that I'm gonna put it in we'll do that next Here's all the sap there. There's quite a bit in the bottom of this one. This one's most of the way full. This one's got some junk in it, so you're gonna wanna strain your uh, maple sap. If you collect some, make sure you strain it through something so it doesn't have any bugs or anything in it. So we're gonna go strain this and then get it on the stove to start rendering. So we got the maple syrup all strained. We got it boiling. This is about the temperature you want it. You don't want it boiling too much, just simmering off. You can see there's quite a bit of steam. You just want to steam it off. Just keep doing that, keep adding sap to it. Yeah, so we put in a smaller pot now. It's boiling, boiled down quite a bit. This is a total of seven gallons that's in here that's been boiled down. We're just boiling it until it gets somewhat thick just keep boiling it just don't scorch it so once you're all done collecting your sap like the weather's been changing it's about 50 degrees out sap's not flowing anymore so we're going to go ahead and pull the taps i like to take a piece of maple like this like a stick or something something that's still nice and green carve it to a fairly sharp point and pound it into the hole plug it up we're going to do that now okay we got our stick here we're going to go ahead and trim it a little bit there we go we're going to take and carve kind of a point on the one end. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this out now. See, it's not flowing anymore. We're going to take and stick this in there. Start pounding. Just keep pounding. If it cracks, it's okay. And it'll break off right at the base of the tree like that. See? Just like that, heals up a lot faster that way. Okay, so we got that all done. We'll give you a nice close up. So as you can see, 
it's nice and fairly flush with the tree that'll make it heal a lot faster I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all the trees you don't have to do it I recommend doing it helps the tree heal a lot faster okay so we're just finishing up our batch of maple syrup we've got it we've, it was in this pot and now I put it in the smaller one and I'm slowly rendering it down so we're getting really close for it to being done I've just been checking to make sure it's not too thick it's starting to get to that right consistency and to tell how it's done, I mean, you just kind of guess and go, oh, it, it's it's about thick enough. One thing to keep in mind, it gets thicker once it cools down, too. So you don't want to boil it too long and do not scorch it. You want to have it on really low heat and just slowly simmer it off. Don't want to scorch it. So I'm going to finish up with getting the last little bit out of this, the last bit of sap boiled out to where we're getting that good, nice syrup. And then I'm going to put it in a different container. So, so we got our finished result, our maple syrup here. It's all done. Out of seven gallons, we made two cups of syrup. That's what we got out of seven gallons. So it's a lot of, a lot of boiling or a lot of rendering down, but in the end, you get a pretty sweet result. <laughs> Go over the conditions you want to be making maple syrup. You want that from 30 degrees, even colder, up to 50 degrees. You don't want it to really get any hotter than 50 degrees. And that's, that's the sweet spot for getting that syrup. That's what you want. So just get yourself some tools, a cordless drill, some taps, some kind of container to hold your sap. That's about all you need to make your syrup. And then just use wood heat, electric heat, propane, whatever. Just make sure you don't scorch your syrup. That's the most important thing. And it took seven gallons to make two cups of syrup. So it, you render down a lot of sap in the end. <laughs> Please subscribe to Northwest Wild and Free. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below and follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos coming up. So please do that, and thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.